Good morning, y'all, and happy Thanksgiving to you. I hope y'all are planning a good meal somewhere with friends and family, and you'll have a day of joy and happiness and mixing and mingling with people that you love and that means a lot to you. And I hope that you spend some time taking turns to name at least one thing that you're thankful for. Years ago, we sat down, to, my little grandson, April's middle one is pretty, he's, he's always been rough and tumble. And he was going to a preschool and he was with a bunch of little boys that were not rough and tumble. I don't know what they'd spent their life doing. But he, he could just walk by them and they'd fall down. I mean, he wasn't aggressive. He was just like a bull in a china closet. Well, I said, and they made her, they made her pull him out of that, that preschool, poor little feller. So I said, let's name some things we're thankful for. Bubba, what are you thankful for? He said, I am thankful for Miss Dozier, but they kicked me out. And we, we wanted to cry and we wanted to laugh at the honesty of little people. You can always find something to be thankful for, if it's even if it's a person that kicked you out of preschool. Now he laughs. Man, I got kicked out of preschool for being too boyish, and that's the truth. He just wasn't calm enough for them. And it was at a church school in Kingwood, so it wasn't public school. But anyhow, you can find something to be thankful for and have a wonderful day today for Thanksgiving. Now, I had thought that... Uh, I would not show anything because it's really too late to make it. But I'm, I've got one salad that I need to get ready, so I thought I would let y'all watch me make. We just simply call it pink stuff. My mother's sister, Irene, always brought this to our family reunion. She's the one that I learned to make the Waldorf salad from. And she just called it pink stuff. And it's canned pie cherry filling, Cool Whip, miniature marshmallows, drained crushed pineapple, and um, of course your pie, I'd already told you, your pie filling. So I'm gonna just tilt the camera down and let y'all watch me stirring it up. And maybe you can use it during the holidays, maybe, you know, for Christmas or whatever, but it's a good salad, it's like a dessert. And it's something that we have to have every time. So I'll get it made in the ice box and let it chill. We're not going to eat till about 3 o'clock this evening. So it'll have plenty of time to be ready by the time we're ready. Let me get the camera down here and show y'all what I'm doing. I'm just putting around in here and getting everything finished up and done. And uh, I always do a lot of prep ahead of time by chopping, my boiling, my eggs and all that. So it's not going to be a tough day today. It's going to be an easy day of preparing the meal and then anxiously waiting for them to get here and share it with me. I've been so blessed and I'm so thankful and I can't wait to just share what the Lord's blessed us with, with my family and to find out what they've been doing and listen to their little talk and it's going to be a good day. Let me show you how I'm making this salad. Okay, y'all, when I say drain your pineapple, I put it in a sieve like this, and I press it to get as much of the liquid out as okay, I can. Okay, so you need a large thing of Cool Whip, and I'm just using Kroger, which is a 16-ounce container, and I'm using Kroger brand. And I need a can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, if it were just for me, which how in the world would I ever eat this much of this rich stuff? But I would put uh, chopped pecans in it, but I don't do that because my bunch don't like it. Well, my daughter doesn't like pecans, and I don't think my granddaughter does. They like walnuts, but not pecans. Get that mixed together, and then I'll add my pie cherries, and it'll make it be pink stuff instead of white stuff. This is so quick and easy, and it's so yummy. 
it is just something that's a tradition, and I like traditions. When we were having family reunions, Adie brought it every time, and we looked forward to her pink stuff. And I started doing it for my family for Thanksgiving and Christmas, and if we have an Easter gathering, we have it then. I don't usually make this except for a special occasion. And then I like to add a couple of cups of miniature marshmallows. Amy never did put marshmallows that I can remember. But I just like to add them. That helps it to firm up a little better. For just a minute and I'll be back and show you uh, how I've got it all in a pretty bowl. Okay, y'all have another one of our every holiday dishes to make. Pink stuff. It's easy and it's good. It's good for a dessert. It's good if you like sweets along with your regular food. If you've never had it, you need to try it. It sure is delicious. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Enjoy the day. Make some sweet memories. And I'll see y'all again on Saturday with a candy recipe. The good Lord bless you.